hi viewers welcome back to another weekend episode creamy and smooth french classic dessert creme brulee this vanilla creme brulee recipe is so easy to make with very few ingredients and the burnt sugar topping is so fun to make this classic dessert is very popular in here in the us and you can get it everywhere in the restaurants or even in the bakeries i am specially dedicating this recipe to my dearest friend manju adams subscribe to nazima's taste of home press the bell icon for latest updates we need only four ingredients five eggs two cups of heavy whipping cream vanilla essence three fourth cup of white sugar Now I'm going to measure 2 cups of heavy whipping cream and add it to a saucepan. Cook over medium to low heat. Meanwhile, let's separate the eggs now. Make sure to keep the eggs in room temperature at least 2 hours before you start working on it. I'm going to add 4 egg yolks and 1 whole egg for this recipe. Now grab a whisk and whisk it really well until well combined adding sugar gradually just a little moment that's all you need heat the cream for about 5 minutes and then add the vanilla essence i'm adding some vanilla sugar and make sure not to boil this whipping cream now you can see bubbles around the edges now i'm going to remove it whisk in the hot cream slowly whisking constantly but not overly vigorously until all has been added now let's strain this to a pourable jug i'm going to unbox my cream brulee set i recently bought on amazon this is a square nonstick brulee a decanter treat usually reserved for fine restaurant dining and now be easily and safely prepared at home with this clever set from chicago matlick the set includes an 8 inch square aluminum steel baking pan chrome wire rack and four ram keys but you don't need this set to make this cream brulee you can just make it in an ordinary square baking tray Now finally let's pour these 8 ounces size ramkins if you have the wider and shallower it is better if you have them place filled ramkins in a large baking dish and fill the baking dish with hot water so that it comes 3/4 of the way up the sides of the ramkins be careful not to get any water in the custard now finally bake in preheated oven 325 degrees fahrenheit for 30 to 45 minutes this will depend on how deep the custard is smaller ramkins means a deeper custard longer bake time the top will appear set but underneath it will be still jiggly now cool to room temperature and then refrigerate for at least 2 hours until chilled you can wrap and refrigerate up to 3 days Now comes the fun part of this recipe. How do you get a crisp caramelized topping on cream brulee? There are two ways to caramelize your sugar on cream brulee. You can either broil it or you can use a blue torch just like this. You can set the cream brulee on a baking sheet in the oven and broil for a couple of minutes or you can use the kitchen torch to torch the sugar for a nice even brown top a kitchen torch is generally preferred because it won't heat the custard as much as the oven but don't be afraid to make cream brulee if you don't have one you will need about a tablespoon of sugar for each ramkins this step is super simple if you have a kitchen torch sprinkle granulated sugar all over the top of your chilled custards and torch it don't be skimpy on the sugar either you might think you are adding too much but the thicker the loose sugar layer the thicker that crunchy topping will be do this step 
just before you serve once the sugar is melted and golden allow it to cool completely and become hard it only takes about 5 minutes if you place the crunchy sugar coated custards back in the refrigerator for any length of time the sugar softens up so make sure to do this a few minutes before you serve them for the crunchiest topping now no need to wait for a restaurant pastry chef or bakery to make a cream roly recipe for you this dessert recipe proves that you can absolutely learn how to make cream roly at home and finally garnish it with your your favorite fruits and if you want it more fancier you can add a couple of mint leaves to look it appealing now this beautiful caramelized top cream roly dessert is ready for serving now see you can see the caramelized topping and it's delicious hope you enjoy this recipe If you like this recipe please share it with your friends and family see you soon with another interesting recipe thanks for watching see you later